No first round pick in 2022. No first round pick in 2023. You got to get some picks. You got to find a way to fill in those gaps. And the great thing about the NFL is there's always a way. It's not that hard. What's the best way for the Niners to get a first round pick next year? What's the best way for them to get a first round pick in 2023? I've floated the idea before of trading Kyle Shanahan. I don't think it's going to come to that. They're probably going to need him to develop Trey Lance. Uh, if they had drafted Mac Jones, that would have been on the table, but they didn't. Shanahan pr preserved his job for this time. Good going, Kyle. So I don't think they're going to trade Kyle Shanahan. Who else could the Niners trade for multiple first round picks? Hmm. Who? I'm thinking Nick Bosa. And I know a lot of people get very uncomfortable when talking about trading Nick Bosa. But here's the way I look at it. Hey, if you could get two first round picks for Nick Bosa, if you could get one first round pick for Nick Bosa, you got to consider it because either you think Nick Bosa is injury prone or you don't. And I think he is. And here's why. His entire game is based on having the biggest, strongest legs in the world. His legs are unreal. I've never seen legs that muscled up ever. Have you? So he gets by on sheer leg strength. Now, he has good hand technique and stuff, but he doesn't have long arms. He's not particularly tall. He's not the fastest guy. He is, by far, the strongest defensive end in the NFL, and it's primarily generated through his legs. When I asked Robert Sala last year what makes Nick Bosa great, it was maybe two years ago, he's the strongest defensive end in the NFL, and he's a rookie. He gets underneath people like Mike Tyson. Uh, that was a good analogy. Problem with Nick Bosa, all of that dominance, all of his game is predicated on these Hercules, these Herculean thighs. Well, it seems like there's too much mass and weight and force on those tiny little tendons in those legs. And that's what I said when he was coming out of Ohio State. He's too muscled up. He could win a bodybuilding competition. But as a football player, I'm concerned that the tiny little tendons are going to keep busting. Now, what I notice about him is when he is healthy, he's diving on the ground a lot. It takes him. He's constantly like parallel to the ground, prone. And when the play's over, people could fall on him. I mean, he puts himself in very compromised positions a lot when he's healthy. Also, when he's healthy, his whole game is predicated on explosion off the snap. Now he has two surgically repaired ACLs and a core muscle surgery he's had. At what point is he going to lose explosion? It seems to me that he needs to lighten up. He needs to take some mass off of his legs. He needs to maybe be a 3-4 outside linebacker, have a standing start. He need to take some of the violence out of his motion because things – I don't know. I, don't, I, I question the longevity no matter what scheme he's in, how you use him. But I'm thinking yesterday I was – it was yesterday, a couple of days ago, I was talking about what the Niners – like the realistic expectations for Nick Bosa next year. And I was saying, you know, the Niners, they, they need to really put him on a snap count because he's their future. I don't know. The other way to look at it is he's injury prone. Uh, don't baby him. Play him next year. Get all you can for him. And then instead of extending his contract after 2021, trade him and get a first round pick in 2022 and hopefully a first round pick in 2023. Because if he plays great next year, he's going to command 25, 27, 30 million dollars. And I wouldn't I don't trust him. I think he's going to be the kind of guy who keeps getting injured and keeps coming back and then gets injured again. So all you know, God love Nick Bosa. Good luck to you. But I think. That's the trade chip the Niners have to consider. Uh, do you want to baby him and, can, and pay him a lot of money? Here's what the Niners can do. He's going to be up for a contract extension after, the, after next season. They can baby him and give him 400 snaps next year and, deter, and try to project what he's going to be with a full workload down the line and give him a, a contract based on that projection. Or they can just play him this year, see what he's got. If he breaks down again, oh well. If he doesn't, you can trade for a first round pick.
seems to me that that's the way to fill in the gap that the Niners created by trading for Trey Lance. I know the Niners, I don't, I'm, I'm not even reading your comments. I'm sure you guys don't like the idea, but you can call in and tell me what you think. Happy Mother's Day. Don't forget to tell your mom or your wife you love her today. Without them, we wouldn't be who we are today. Hey, babe. I love you. She didn't say it back. Hey, you out there? Oh, she said she loved me. That was nice. I'm going to call my mom too. I will. I promise, Greg. Thank you. All right. Let me uh, put my let me put my coffee down and put the uh, the invite code in here. Boom. There you go. Invitation to call in. Let's do this quick and then get back to Mother's Day. All right. Boom. All right. We don't have to talk about Nick Bosa. I was just, that's what's on my mind. Creative ways to get the number, a, a number one pick next year. 